that is what they should have done after F Alex Ferguson left. But then they've had to wait, and Chelsea have gone on, picked Thomas Tuchel, Liverpool gone on, picked Jurgen Klopp, both disciples of <clears throat> Ralph Ragnick. So hopefully United can finally find what ideally they should have gotten that long ago. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm laughing because I think you know my, my son is conflicted. My elder son Kyle is a man new diehard, but has recently become a member of Brentford. So I think he's hoping that Brentford wins and Manu loses and Brentford goes above Manu in the table. It will be fantastic. It's going to be a midlife crisis. <laughs> so okay. just, just to catch up on what uh, uh, James said, yes, Manu have appointed a German coach, but he's not on the team sheet today. No, we're talking about the he's, match first of uh, all. Yeah, the match. Yes, yes. Yeah. To, to, that's, that's, that's today's match. Eh? Yeah. He's, he's not on the bench, so he's, um, I think he's still working out his work permit. It's 11 minutes in, still goalless, goalless. I think this match will be a draw. Arsenal, they have a good breed of youngsters. They, have, they are growing together. They may not be able or want to take too many risks in this one because they know okay, the now they know the sentence starting with Manchester United. <laughs> what are you going to say about it? Manchester United is not yet ready for victory. <laughs> I'll leave you out of this altogether. Let's talk about the coaches then, the German coaches. Now we've got Jürgen Klopp and you've got uh, Tuchel on the other side. James, what do you think about, you You were talking very loudly about the fact that Rangnick is also at Manchester United and this thing about the German coaches now into the Premier League. He is the godfather of oh. Gengen pressing. Uh, Ragnik, he's the one who introduced Gengen pressing. He's the one who introduced that style of uh, that style of football. And then these two have then taken over from him. That's Klopp and Tuchel. So it's interesting to see whether they can beat the man who showed them the way. He's very well, highly spoken of. He's a person who people say he's a guy who go, he lives and breathes the game. He can show the way forward, which is what United probably have lacked since Ferguson left. A man who knows. This is where we are going. This is why we are going where we are going. And I guess it's also credit to German football. The fact that the top three, three of the top biggest clubs in England have decided we are going to Germany to get a coach. Maybe it tells you just how well the German coaching system is. Remember after Euro 2000, they changed all of it. And now we can see the fruits when you're starting to see these kind of people coming into the Premier League because we all know everyone wants to go to the Premier League. Okay, for once I'm going to be on your side because Manchester United has been said to be a team that didn't know when to press, they don't know when to fall back, they don't know when to hold, and maybe the uh, German coach will probably give them that. So we'll leave it at that. And I think that's going to change the English game a little bit if they employ the German tactics in uh, the game itself. It will take time. It, it will take, take time. time. It will take Gentlemen, time. we are also running heavy on time. There are a couple of things that are happening over the weekend. We've got Formula One happening as well over the weekend. Charles, are you uh, a fan of Formula One? The, the 